The Street, Season 38, Episode 2. Thank you one and all for coming to Rosie and Matt's renewal of vows. So let's do it exactly that. Rosie. Matt. Renew your vows. I promise, as part of my vows to you Matt, to never let any relative of yours try to convert me to be lesbian. Or to get too intimate with me. I promise to forrive you and move on like nothing's happened when you betray me. Like when you fought Elisha and I walked in on you. I promise to always remind myself to see the good in you, like when you were really understanding of all of just wanting to fit in with people her age back when we first met her. I'll try not to hold secrets from you but I can't definitely promise that. Ah oh, that's so sweet. I promise, as part of my vows to you Rosie, to encourage your maternal side. In hopes that one day we have our very own children together, before you start menopause hopefully. Which won't be too far away either by the looks of it. I promise to never cheat on you with any of your best friends. Or let me throw to be ripped out by wolves. I promise never to be jealous of you and any family member of mine when you get close and intimate. And I'll try to be the best husband as possible. But again, can't 100% promise that either. What unusual vows. You may now kiss the bride. Or now kiss the groom. Whichever way it works these days. Aw oh, cute. Congratulations. Congratulations, CEO. Congratulations. I can't believe they were dressed like that. Shows how much they actually respect their marriage. What happened to Christie's Australian accent? Never mind. Congratulations. 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 Sorry I'm late. Let the joy begin. Being society's face is such a huge responsibility. Pipe down. Elisha. Is that you? My god you've aged. I only saw you before I went to bed last night. What happened? You and Rosie. Have I been now asleep for years or something? Kiernan. Get off me. Get out of my bum hole. He's only gone and shot himself. I shade AO myself one to me. You. Enough of this. Come on, Henry. Let's get you cleared up. I'll help. Well, that's the service over, I guess. Thank you. That was delightful. Kiernan, I would like to introduce you to someone. Sorry, do I know you? I recognize you from somewhere. Yeah, you do. It's me, Jade. We went to school together. Oh. No, no, no. You see, I don't really do school. You went to school with my reincarnation. I don't have to tell you this. From what I've heard you were at his funeral. You're not even questioning how this is possible. I'm the original Kiernan. Oh, so that's why my dad shit himself. He must have been in shock that he has seen an OG. Thank you for doing that. He was always horrible to me as a kid. Always favoring Rosie and stuff. It's about time he faced a bit of embarrassment. But thoughts in the past. Anyway. Please meet my husband. Hello, yo. My name is Elkirk, yo. You can pack that right in. You're already the most boring man in the room. People like you should be banged up. Oh, Henry. I never thought I'd say this. But for once in your whole life couldn't you have kept it out of your pants? You stink. And this car isn't starting. Sorry, Christy. I have an idea, Christy. It's not like I poured chip fat into the petrol tank to stop your car from working. How about I take Henry back home? I'll happily clean him. Yeah, I bet you would. While you fix the car. Fine. But only because of the stench. Go on, Henry. Perfect. Thank you.